Week four of the high school football season kicks off on Friday night. The Red Devils back in NCC play. They'll travel to Muncie Central. And as always, you can see that game right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports with the pregame at 6.30, the kickoff headed your way at 7 o'clock. Red Devils coming off a tough loss against Tech last week. I Coach uh, Abe Toffeek with us, by the way. If you don't know Abe, he's just to my left here, and we've been talking all season long. And Coach, i gotta go, I got to ask you something. I talked with Nick Johnson earlier today. Yeah. Nick lost their first game. Coach talked a little bit about it. And I said, you know what? I know that you and Abe, there's no excuses. Right. I mean, you don't make excuses. I've known you long enough now. There's no excuses. But I said to him, too, there's factors. Yeah. And there are factors in games that make a difference. Now, some yeah. will say, what's the difference? You're kind of splitting hairs. I don't think so. I think there's factors in games. When I looked at, certainly, we could we could probably have a pretty long list of factors, right? Yeah. But in the game itself, when I looked at your, your chart that you gave us for the starters, and then I saw all the kids that are gone, that are injured, 20 sitting on the sidelines, not in excuse, but you lost a lot of kids that were starters in that game, right? I mean, yeah. You just didn't have a full loaded gun. Right. No, di definitely didn't. Um, you know, three of our starting linebackers were out for the game. Um, you know, uh, number one, uh, Treshawn Jones hasn't played in two weeks. He's injured. Um, you know, Jimmy Gifford saw his first action of the year yeah. Friday night. Um, you know, and we ended up getting some kids injured in the game. O'Shea Henderson went down with yep. a knee injury. Um, Connor Necessary went down with a separated shoulder. Um, uh, Dalton Swank went down, uh, might might have a concussion, got hit pretty hard. Um, you know, so we're just getting bit with the injury bug, yeah. you know, and that's not an excuse. I mean, it's got to be the next guy up mentality is what we have to have. But, um, you know, it's just we're just playing a lot of kids who haven't played a lot of football yet. Yeah. You know, and that's just the reality of the situation. I'd never make an excuse. I still expect us to go out and compete uh, week in and week out, but that is the reality of the situation, you know. And you don't have the luxury, like a lot of football programs don't, where the next man up is equal to the front man. I mean, it's just the reality mm -hmm. of any sport. That's why there's starters and guys who get minutes and those who don't. Right. Right, yeah. I mean, th there's a pretty big drop off between our ones and twos, yeah. and then an even bigger drop off, you know, from our threes and fours. Um, so, as a coaching staff, we really had to have a come to Jesus meeting, uh, a moment over the weekend, and really scrub our roster. You know, we went through every single kid. Is this kid a JV kid or is he a, a Friday night guy? And um, you know, we're we're gonna change the way we practice, and so. From here on out, we're going to kind of practice like a, a 3A, 2A program and that every single kid is going to learn both sides of the ball. Yeah. And um, it allowed us to go three or four deep in some areas on the depth chart. And uh, I think it's going to make us a better football team. It's going to help us, you know, better prepare ourselves for Friday nights. And it's also going to help better prepare our JV team uh, yeah. to compete on Saturdays. So we're going to split those kids up completely. And now instead of having our number one defense going against our JV offense, you know, in terms of scout team to get a look, we're going to be going varsity kids against varsity kids. Yeah. So hopefully it's going to give us a better look. Um, and then JV kids, you know, in terms of just keeping their confidence up and keeping them around, you know, they won't have to be going against Colton Davis or Shea Hall, you know, yeah. and, and really lose that confidence early. And um, so uh, I think it's going to be a good thing for us. But again, no excuses. You know, along with the injuries, last week we had kids just getting sick, you know, yeah. left and right. Uh, even Coach Dunham. Coach Dunham's been coaching for 41 years. And in 41 years, he missed two practices. One of them was last week because he was at home vomiting. No kidding. So along with all the injuries, we've had a bunch of sick kids. Wyatt Bird only practiced one week, one day last week um, because he was sick at home, yeah. you know, throwing up, dealing with uh, some type of bug that's going around. So, um, you know, again, no excuses, but there are factors that played in um, to the loss or the loss is that we've had. I'm only hoping that some of the people that, and I'm, this is my own commentary, that think they know everything about what's going on all the time, unless you're at practice every day, unless you understand what the factors are, 
take the social media stuff away because you're really making yourself look silly on some of the things that they're talking about. I had to say that because I'm dealing with some of these morons out there who think they know everything about every program there is. And I will offer to you again, you can come on this show, you can come on any show you want to and we'll talk about it. But until then, just keep your social media comments to yourself. So I, I wanted to get that out too. Coach offensively. Yeah. Struggle a little bit, but it wasn't that you didn't have some opportunities and, and there were times when you got in the red zone, just couldn't get it in the end zone. And there were some things there that you got to get cleaned up before next week too. Oh, absolutely. You know, our offense was finally starting to move efficiently up and down the field. Um, you know, we had long sustained drives. We just didn't score any points. Yeah. You know, we got down to the four yard line one time. Another time we got down to the six and, um, you know, our kids just, they're tight they're, they're just getting tight when we get yeah. down there i think they're just trying too hard instead of just letting the game come to you yeah. you know so uh, literally we called four touchdowns uh, off we, we called four plays that should have been touchdowns and if you go and you look at it on film the plays they're right there um wide open and it was you know we miss a block or a quarterback doesn't throw the ball or you know makes the wrong read it was a number of different things, you know, a rush that just got the ball out a little too quick. Yeah, there were some just some little things, you yeah. know, that come with experience. And again, our quarterback hasn't played meaningful varsity snaps until this year. Last time he played football was in seventh grade. Yeah. It's tough. Not an excuse, just the reality of the situation, yeah. you know. And so uh, we're coaching the kid up. We've had him now, you know, we had him all summer, and that was just learning the base of the offense. Yeah. What, you know, how does this thing, what's it supposed to look like? Now he's really starting to get into some of the intricacies, and, um, you know, I, I think that you'll see him continue to improve each week uh, and kind of find his rhythm. We've narrowed down the playbook even more now. You know, we, we took a hard look at what we did in the Tech game and what we did well, what we didn't. And, you know, we, we made some more cuts. And yeah. so we're going to continue to just really focus on what we do well and get really, really good at that stuff and um, continue to try to improve every week. You know, some are still different than having those big defensive linemen coming at you on a Friday night, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first time the kid got hit uh, was in the Pendleton scrimmage, you yeah. know, all summer. Um, so, I mean, that plays a, a factor that, that – in, in your mentality as a quarterback. Yeah. You know, if you go from just being able to hang out back there and nobody can hit you and you just got all the time in the world to scan the field and do what you need to do even though we've got you on a timer and got to get rid of the ball in three seconds. Um, now, you know, you're actually getting hit and, you know, falling to the ground, rolled up, giving up a couple of sacks. It, it plays a little bit into the, into the mental aspect of the yeah, game. It so. sure does. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about Muncie Central as we're back in North Central Conference play coming up on Friday. We'll do that right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports. For the past 35 years, Van Vliet Insurance has built a reputation of bringing a personal touch. That's because at Van Vliet, it's all about you, your needs, your life, and our town. Along with providing quality coverage to individuals, families, and local businesses, we're proud of our community and the opportunity we have to protect your future within it. Van Vliet Insurance, an Erie Insurance representative, hometown professionals at work for you. Hard to believe we're in week four of the high school football season. It does go fast, doesn't it? It, it flies. Yes, it does. It flies. And I tell the kids uh, every single week, you know, that it's going to be over before you know it especially the seniors, you know, uh, your, your high school experience will fly yeah. and it'll be over before you know it. And high school football season is always the same exact way. Yeah. You know, you, you get so uh, into it and it just next thing you know, it's over. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, Nick had put something, because I'm a social media guy, I have to be, but he put a little quotation on there, make every minute count. Yeah which is so true because you only have 24 hours in a day and as you said your high school football career is only four years and the majority of these guys aren't going to play after this right and so you got to absorb it and make sure it counts right right yeah absolutely i mean um you know I, i've been telling the kids since 
week one after Connorsville celebrated on our field the way they did and as hard as they played. Each week has got to be our state championship week, yeah. you know, and we've really had to be locked in and enjoying the moment. And then along with that, you know, um, our program has had a little bit of adversity behind the scenes. You know, um, one of our players was involved in kind of a tragic mm -hmm. situation and, um, you know, that that kind of goes back to it and that, you know, tomorrow's not always promised. Yeah. And that enjoy every minute and every day that you're here, you know, able to get better, you know, being with your brothers and your coaches and just this football family that we have going on and enjoy these moments and really um, cherish them and savor them because, you know, you never know when they'll be over. Yeah, very, very true. Muncie Central coming up on Friday night. Yeah. Coach, what do you, what do you see in the Bearcats? <laughs> Uh, man, they got some really good looking kids on film. Uh, some big, big offensive and defensive linemen. Um, you know, they made a change at quarterback mm. uh, against the Anderson game. And uh, they put uh, their wide receiver, number 11. He's a wide receiver slash defensive back. They put him in at quarterback and pretty much ran the ball and made their offense look very, very dynamic. So we're going to have to do a lot to contain him. <clears throat> hopefully we'll get some of our linebackers back this week and uh, hopefully we'll get Bubba Sanders back this week um, who's been out nursing injuries um, you know if we can get those guys back then then we should be pretty solid defensively um, <coughs> if Excuse not me. no you're fine um, if not we're we're just gonna have to do a great job of staying disciplined and gap sound and um, just be able to contain that kid um, if we can contain him, it'll give ourselves a chance. And then offensively, I mean, we just got to score the football, yeah. plain and simple.